What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidigo Vibes here, aka Lord Farquaad, aka Post Malone, and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be focused on my Q&A, which I announced a couple videos ago when I did my um, affordable ring option. So, what I'm going to do is, the future me is about to announce the giveaway winners to a random generator and all that shit. So, good luck to those people, I will see you in like a couple seconds. All right, gang, so what I've did is I've copied and pasted this link from my best uh, rings on a budget video right here, and I've thrown it into the random comment generator here. So it's already loaded the comments, it's 126 people, 128, sorry. So I'm randomly gonna pick five winners, and good luck, fam. So this first one is Steven. Bro, you feel like Post Malone in this video? Yes, I do. Make sure, brother, you comment down below your Instagram, and I'll get in contact with you. And we'll sort out everything. So that's the first one. Second one is Rat Poison. When you're a skinny fucker and none of these rings would fit me. It did pick this skinny fucker comment, which... <laughs> but actually, it did feature your question, funny enough. So we're going to choose you, brother. So just comment down below and I'll get you sorted. Next one comes from Bang GTF2. Who is your favorite music artist at the moment? Brother, congratulations. Comment down below. That is three, I believe. Yes, we've got two more. What second last is from Far Was Affordable Combat Boots or Fall Boots. Nice. Comment down below, brother. Congratulations. And last but not least, the fifth and last winner comes from QO Cot. Go ban is my chemical romance. What the fuck, bro? That sucks because that's not even a comment. GG. Apologies, brother. We're gonna pick. One last winner, and it is from RHC, RHC PKZI. Brands that you think will pop in 2018, and what are your guilty pleasures? Congratulations, dude. Make sure all of you guys comment down below your Instagram, and I will get in contact with you. Gang, gang. Whoa, my nails are actually fucked. Yeah, congratulations, brothers. Scrap, scrap. So congratulations to those winners. All you have to do is... This always happens, honestly, always. All you have to do is comment down your Instagram or comment below your Instagram, whatever, and then I will contact you and DM you and get that stuff sorted. And I have a really deep voice today because I woke up not long ago and I'm like, uh... but man, I haven't done a Q&A in so long. I'm so excited to do one. So all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna introduce myself and get the basic questions out of the way. So my name is Robert Verdugo. I am from Melbourne, Australia. I'm very, I'm like one of very few YouTubers in Australia doing fashion right now. Sitting on just over 10,000 subscribers, which I hit not long ago, and I appreciate every single one of you. It means so much to me to hit that milestone, and the next milestone is 15 or even 20K. Like, that's a big goal of mine. But like I said, I'm one of very few YouTubers in Australia, and I actually came here as a baby. I'm not an Australian dude whatsoever. I don't drink Carlton Draft. I don't have, I don't drink VB. I don't drink beer at all. I don't like tomato sauce. I'm from South America. I was, I'm from Argentina and my parents came here when I was a baby. They wanted a better life for me and I couldn't thank them enough. One thing for me is family. Like I love family and that's a, plays a real big part of my life. So for them to come here as a baby and risk everything, they literally dropped everything when they were living in Argentina to come here by themselves, no English whatsoever and to just come here and have a better life for me. I couldn't thank them enough. Legit, I could be like Batman right now. I'll have like the deepest voice, fam. But um, yeah. So that's what I. That's literally um the basis of my life. I currently work in retail. I hate it. Like, it's just I get no hours, so I'm literally broke all the time. So that's why recently I've just been flipping my clothes a lot to try and like recycle everything. So that's that one. People always ask, um, where did I? How did I meet my girlfriend? She low-key just went in my inbox on Facebook six years ago. <laughs> Let's just say she sussed me, man. And, she, you know, she wanted she wanted your boy vibes, like, low-key. And we've been together for six years. It's been such a long time, and I've loved every minute of it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've loved every minute of it, and I, I mean, I couldn't imagine where I'd be if I didn't have her in my life. And honestly, she's the reason why I did YouTube in the beginning, because she saw that I had potential in doing something like this because I love clothes. So yeah, and also, where do I study or what do I study? I do a Bachelor of Business Marketing at La Trobe University. I have one more semester left and then I'm finished, I'm graduated. 
and that is so, so scary. I'm not ready for the real world. I'm still a kid. I think I'm still a kid, honestly. I'm 22 and I'm still like an immature fuck, so. That's that, and I think there was one more question they kept asking. People always ask me what got me into YouTube and fashion, and as a kid, like, I always was conscious about what I wore, but during high school, I'd go out thrifting every single day. Like, at, at least three times out of the week, Monday to Friday, I would go out and thrift with my best mates, and like, we'd almost like flip the clothes that we bought as well, which was dope, but I'd just be which, literally wearing thrifted clothes all the time. Along with that, what got me into YouTube, Jacob J. Color and Sanjeev, like, it's, yeah, two most the, two of the biggest inspirations personally for me because they both style really fucking well. So those are the basic questions and the questions I've got asked a lot. Now we're going to get into the actual questions that you guys commented down below. So beginning with this first one, <laughs> it's from Buenfield1992. Do you play RuneScape? Bro, of course I do. Of course, mate. I've got all the time in the world now that I finish my semester at uni. I'll leave my like stats and shit there and like my name and stuff just add me man i'm always on majority of the time and yeah it's so fucking good awesome ae asks what kind of music do you listen to bro follow me on spotify for jigger vibes and you can find out rap poison us what's your thoughts on rick owens not collaborating with adidas anymore after the fall winter 17. i think it was a good move by both companies because of the fact that the sales were declining a lot and like for us as a consumer it was great because everything was on sale but they were not pushing any profits whatsoever. So they decided to just drop the contract, whatever. And now Rick Owens went with Goodyear and that's a really good thing. But from a consumer side, from me, it's expensive as shit. Adrian asks, do you ever think you're gonna venture into archive pieces? <laughs> yeah, dude, 100%. Growled 100s around the corner. I'm pretty sure it's in December or no, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in December. There's so much archive shit like, oh my God. God, I just want to get something archived from EC to begin with and then just venture into other stuff. How much Lang, EC, Margella, just a lot of archive stuff really holds value and it's historical, which is great. We're going to do a completely 180 right now. Jimmy asks, as I'm a car guy as well, what got, what got, you, what got you into cars and when did you buy your Supra? Um, if you guys don't know, I own a 1994 white Toyota Supra, non-turbo, 5-speed SZ. It's my baby, it's my pride. Like, a lot of people say don't love materialistic things, but this car brings me joy and happiness. We've been through a lot of shit, but she's stuck around and she's still my bae. And um, I paid like six and a half grand for it. And when I, told pe when I tell people that, they think like, what the fuck, what was wrong with it? Nothing. I bought new seats, new tires, and a few little cosmetic stuff here and there, put like an extra grand, and that was it. And now I drive it every single day and it's beast. And I've got Japanese plates on it as well, just to get like that JDM vibe, you know? Uh, but next question we've got from Unique Reps. He says, jeans or trousers? Trousers. Payday Pickups asks, are you ever going? Are you ever considering coming to the UK? And we also have to collaborate. 100% bro, he's a good YouTuber. I definitely check him out. Does like a lot of trends and hype beast trends and stuff like that. But um, I will hopefully go to the UK. I wanna go to Europe and just explore everything. I love European fashion. It's beautiful. And that's something I've just been putting off just because money-wise, it's expensive. Like if I was to go, I'd go for a month. I'd try to vlog the whole time, but I have to save like 10 to 15K. Because when I'm in Paris, bro, I'll be dropping a lot of money. Billyar asks, how is the streetwear vibe in Australia? And do you get inspiration from Australia or other places? I mainly get my inspiration from just all over the world, mainly on social media, but not celebrities. But the streetwear vibe in Australia, it's very, very hype beasty. I'm not gonna lie. You can see my knee, that's super awkward. But it's like half of it's hype beast, but the other half is like thrifted, high end streetwear. And that's what I, streetwear. And that's what I love most because people can wear like vans, come their guys on trousers and a Uniqlo tee and like a Margiela coat or something, and it works super well. Kevin G. Lobos, fucking OG subscriber, bro. I appreciate you, man. He asks, are you ever going to get your hands on a pair of geo baskets? Unfortunately not, because I don't think the geo basket silhouette suits me as much because I'm quite short. I watched a video on Jacob Star. He did like a Black Friday sale. I watch him because he's actually really, really entertaining. But he was mentioning about how Rick Owens doesn't really suit short people. I think only to a degree because of the geo basket, but with clothing and stuff, yeah, I mean, it suits everyone. But with the um, geo baskets, I will go for creeper boots instead because creeper boots are freaking beautiful. Kiamba asks, who's your favorite designer and why? And that's what a lot of people did ask as well. 
it's very, very obvious, like, <sighs> very obvious indeed, but definitely Rick Owens because of the fact that I went to the store, I had the best service of my life at that store. Like, can't compare another store to that because it was on another level. It was in Tokyo. I met the, the guy that served me, I follow him on Instagram, follows me back. We speak every now and then and he watches my videos as well, which is amazing. But um, yeah, definitely Rick Owens because proportions fit me beautiful. I have like five pieces from Rick and they all go well together and with other stuff, which is great. And that's the only, that's like one of the good reasons why I love Rick Owens because they can mix well with other brands and the proportions fit me amazing. And that's like the best thing that you could do when it comes to buying stuff is making sure that proportions fit you well. I might as well give you a second one, Yoji, and I have a package coming in today and I really should have the door open because I need to hear that bell, honestly. But um, yeah, Yoji, Yamamoto, like amazing, amazing style, dude. It's just, except for the fact it's very, very expensive. But yeah, I'm gonna have that door open because I need to hear this package. But this next one comes from Disco Lunatic. Another 180 question. Favorite SoundCloud producer, David Sampson. The kid is in, still in high school and is doing Lofi as a side project. And I don't know if you guys know, but I love Lofi tunes. I literally listen to it 24 seven because it's so relaxing, it's so chill, and it's just great to listen to. So he's just doing side tracks and I, you know, post on, I post most of his tracks on my videos as like overlays or like B-roll and stuff. So definitely go ahead and check him out. I'll leave a link for his SoundCloud in the description down below. So please, Please go ahead and check him out. Uh, but his next one comes from Daniel Rady. He basically wants to know if I have a script for each video or if I wing it most of the time and how did I learn to edit my videos. So, I mean, I'm also telling you my setup right now. I've got a Canon ADD mixed with a Rode, Rode Video Mic Pro along with my 10 to 18 wide angle lens. So that's a setup and I've only got that recently. At the beginning of my YouTube, I had the, um, there's a Canon 700D, which is like the T4i, I think, don't, I mean, don't quote me on that, but that was like a really shit camera for autofocus. It's disgustingly bad, but it's a really good camera to start off with. I edit my videos on Final Cut Pro and I didn't watch any tutorials at the start. I literally downloaded it because everyone was using it and I just played with buttons, honestly. I dragged like a clip and was like, how the fuck does this work? I still use Final Cut Pro till today and I watch a bit of tutorials every now and then, but um, with regards to like the B-roll and stuff and getting like that cinematic vibe, Peter McKinnon is like one guy I watch for tutorials because he is amazing. Um, and also, if I have a script or wing every video, I wing everything. I don't have a script because having a script for me doesn't seem legitimate because like I love talking on the spot and talking, you know, one to one with you guys on a real note because if you have a script, like it kind of sounds like you're speaking from a script. Um, so in with that regards, I will only note down, I will put notes down for outfits and stuff to put in a video or just like simple ideas and stuff like that. Two Shuffication asks, are there any good alternative for the SLP Rangers, which are these bad boys here. They are legitimately like, it is me in a nutshell. This is like, I mean, I spoke to a few people at the event who watched my videos and they were saying like that, that is your shoe. Like you wear that all the time. It's on your video. It represents you. And yeah, I kind of think so. I'll go stop with my knee up straight out. But with regards to the alternative for that, definitely the Doc Martin 1468 eyelid is a great option because one, it's pretty cheap and two, it kind of represents the same style. You can even do the Dior Navigate boot style lacing on those and they look very, very similar. And if you want to go above and beyond because, oh, excuse me. If you want to go above and beyond, color in the yellow stitching around it and it's an all black shoe and it looks dope. If you want to go for a mid range that's like between SLP and Doc Martens, probably Common Projects. That's a great alternative because they have really good combat boots and they're on sale right now. I'm pretty sure on end clothing, I think, um, with this whole Black Friday sale thing going on. But yeah, Dane T asks a really good question. He asks, what's your, fa what's your most favorite piece or item out of your collection and what's the story behind it? And if you're coming to Europe, definitely, definitely visit the Netherlands. Fuck oath, bro. I definitely will. Apart from my SLP Rangers, which are like, I wore, like, I wear those three or four times out of the week, would have to be these bad boys here. These are like, I just got these dry clean yesterday, and these are my Rick Owen mainline cropped drawstring trousers from the Forever line, which basically means that they, on the main line, they drop every single season, they don't change. So no matter what season it is, they bring out the same exact garment. Um, with obviously a bit, bit more tweaks and materials. But um, these I wear, ev almost, like honestly, four or five times out of the week, I honestly will wear these and my combat boots because I can wear that, those two mixed with a t-shirt 
and have it in summer and it's not a big deal or I can wear it in the winter time and wear like a coat or something over the top. That's my outerwear piece. But these are very, very sentimental to me because of the fact that I got those at Rick Owens Tokyo store. Where is that fucking, here it is. I took like the bag and everything from Rick, like still has the Rick branding at the front. I had that, I had the Eminem Rick Owen collab, like uh, Eminem's Rick Owen collab. I got the water bottles, like yeah. It's a very sentimental piece to me. I paid a lot for it, but I don't care because I've got my good use out of it. Mr. James Web Double Zero asks, what's your opinion on the Nike Off-White collaboration and which pair of the 10 is your favorite? Low key, the Zoom Flies because they're the less hype beastie out of all of them and they're the less with resale at, at this point in time. Um, so that, yeah, definitely was like my favorite. And the, like the collaboration overall was great because he had like the first five, I think it was or whatever, had deconstructed and the last like five had um, a ghost or transparent vibe to it. I mean, which is great, but I mean, it's just so fucking high beast, bro. Steven had like a really long question, but I just nailed it down to where to crop, where to cop some clean crop trousers. Um, first stop, go to Uniqlo if you've never worn trousers before, because I did that and I would never go back because Uniqlo trousers, 40 or 50 or 30 bucks, if you can find them on sale, are great and they, they can do free alterations and it's, it's a good way to start if you only wear jeans you want to convert into trousers. Um, I will hopefully do a video in the next like coming week or two on um, like a challenge at Uniqlo, like a hundred dollar challenge. I know, I know for a fact I can do well in that. Caleb Tyler asks, what's your thoughts on cowboy boots? I fucking love it. I'm, I'm done buying trainers. I've got my Zoom flies coming in and I'm done with trainers. I'm just buying freaking RM William Chelsea's going higher Ackerman fucking Chelsea boots. Marjala, just all these beautiful and Guidi as well. There's so many good boots out there and it gives off like that cowboy vibe, especially with the SLP whites, which is another cop on my list. But yeah, love, love that look, man. Next one comes from 007. He asks, do you think resellers are killing hyped brands? It's not resellers, it's the hype beasts. Hype beasts are murdering brands, but it's good for the company because of the fact that for like the, the biggest prime example is Gucci and Balenciaga. Two of the most hype brands of 2017 have murdered sales. Like they're in the top five in the third quarter of the best brands of 2017. And for good reason, all the hype beasts are just jumping on that trend. But will they be like still on top in the next year? Who knows? Mitch asks, what made you switch from streetwear to high fashion? I think age played a real big impact on my life when it came to transitioning into something like that. I mean, nowadays I still wear like high end mixed with streetwear and thrifting, like that's me. But Back then, like even a year, a year and a half ago, I can't even remember when I was wearing like that Jerry Boy shit. It was just all about Yeezys and, and not even Supreme, I fucking hate Supreme. But low key, I want that shoulder bag. But like with Yeezy and Off-White, like it's just that hype that kids love now. But as you grow older, you start to mature and you start to gain more knowledge on different brands and what brands you can mix in your wardrobe and stuff like that. So yeah, I think age played a real big impact. Next one comes from Cole Vincent. What are some of your favorite local Australian brands? I've only got two and it's Lowell Fifth and Strom October. Lowell Fifth, the money, like the actual price for a garment doesn't reflect on the quality. It's way above that price range. And Strom October, the kid's like 17, he's doing real big things and I've got like, I've got some of his pieces and I really fuck with it and I love the designs, I love the vibe that he's going for. And I'm, I've met both of them and they're both very, very genuine. So those are my only two like Australian brands I fuck with heavy. Two more questions left. First one comes from Gabe Bowl and he asks, if you could only wear one brand from the rest of your life, what would it be? Rick Owens, man. I have shorts, I have shoes, Ramones, pod shorts, crop trousers, give me a pair of creeper boots from Rick, give me a basic black and white tee from Rick, and just one outerwear piece, and I can wear that for the rest of my life, and I'll be sweet. And last but not least, we've gone from Marco, and he asks, how do you feel about the Balenciaga Triple S? I really don't know what to say, because when they dropped, I loved them, but at the back of my mind, I thought, bro, when this drops, it's gonna resell because it's dumb, and it's gonna be high beast on it, and it's gonna ruin it. But now, since they've dropped, and since I've seen fits, it doesn't fit in my wardrobe. I think it's a creative shoe. The fact that you have like three sizes bigger as a sole and then go up in sizes to like the biggest, bulkiest shoe ever is great. Coming from Balenciaga, they've made fucking amazing sales on that shoe. 
But yeah, I just think like it's like a bit of a meme, but it just doesn't suit my wardrobe. That's literally how I feel about it. I mean, if you have it and you rock it and you can rock it good, I'm all for it. It's a great fit, whatever. But yeah, I will not fork out like 1100, 1200 for that shit that's going to die off in a year or two. Like it's not really worth it. But yeah, that is my Q&A. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget the giveaway winners. Comment down below your Instagram just so I can get in contact with you. Forgot to mention that like my last two videos, apologies. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. And also don't forget to subscribe because on Vidugo Vibes, I upload two or even three videos a week, depending on how I'm feeling, based on menswear, outfits, reviews, pickups, styling, whatever. So go ahead and do that. And if you want to go ahead and join the gang, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video as well, which is over there. And I will see you on the next video on Vidugo Vibes. I'm out, guys. Peace.